welcome back to Cinema Chat. Today, I'm going to explain to you a 2021 sports drama film titled King Richard. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. This man's name is Richard. He is a former black tennis athlete in California. Since retiring, he has only one goal. He wants to support his two daughters, Serena and Venus, to become the greatest tennis athlete in the world. Actually, he has five daughters. However, three of them have interests in other fields. One afternoon, he is seen busy meeting with some of the coaches of the tennis club to promote Serena and Venus, so that the coaches want to recruit his two daughters to join their tennis academy. Almost every week he meets tennis coaches one by one. Even though he is always rejected, he never gives up. When he gets home, he immediately takes Venus and Serena to practice. The other three daughters also watch and support their sister. While they are practicing tennis on the court, a group of bad boys appear. They want to tease his daughters. As a father, he is very upset. However, he still tries to be patient and tell all her daughters to get in the car. When they are about to leave, the bad boys are still teasing his daughter. Rich, who is furious, then rebukes them. They don't like to be rebuked. So, they immediately beat Rich in front of his daughters. When they get home, his wife, Orison, greets them all, although living in a small house, with five daughters. However, their family is very happy. Every night, after practice, it is a time for Richard to work. They share tasks with each other. During the day, Orison will work, while Rich will train Serena and Venus, and take the other children to their tutoring place. At night, it is time for him to work. Meanwhile, Orison will help their daughters to study. Despite their busy schedule, their five children always in the top five at school. At work, while reading a sports magazine, Rich sees an article about a famous tennis club coach in America. He gets the idea to promote Venus and Serena to the coach. The next day, as usual, with great expectations, he comes to the office. However, he is rejected for the umpteenth time. The coach explains that no matter how good his two daughters are, if they don't have money, they won't be able to get into any tennis academy. Hearing those words, Rich feels hurt. At night on the tennis court, he keeps reflecting on the words the coach had said. In the midst of it, suddenly a group of naughty boys come again in front of him. They said why is he wasting his time teaching his two daughters to play tennis? Because his daughters will only work in a brothel, and they can never become famous athletes. Hearing the insult, Rich immediately hit the boy. With a face full of wounds, Rich goes home. Seeing her husband's condition, Orison can only silent. She only focuses on treating Rich's wounds. Incidents like this have often happened to her husband. A few days later, Rich takes Venus and Serena to see a tennis coach named Cohen. He thinks the reason why all this time the coaches are not interested. Maybe because they only watch the recording. Therefore, today he plans to show his two daughters greatness to the coach. After being forced for the umpteenth time, Cohen is finally willing to test their skills. Cohen is amazed. With great hope, he decides to train them for free. However, he only wanted to accept one child, she is Venus. The next day, before leaving for practice, Venus tries to comfort Serena. She said that Serena had nothing to worry about, because their father will record all of her rehearsals with Cohen. That way, Serena can imitate what Cohen teach from the recording. When Venus and Rich leave, Orison takes Serena for a workout together. Although not a professional coach like Cohen, Orison promises to train Serena to become a great tennis player. After training, Venus, Rich, and Cohen watches a recording of a professional tennis match. Cohen explains that most world-famous tennis players start their careers by participating in junior tennis tournaments competitions. Hearing the explanation, Rich is interested in registering Venus for the junior tournament. He feels this is the first step for the world to see how great Venus is at playing tennis. After a few months, Venus spent her days focused on practicing. Until finally, the day of the tournament comes. Her whole family come to cheer her on. Venus can win match after match in the junior tournament. Even her opponents are upset, because they always lost to Venus. Until one night, when Rich, 
Venus, and Serena come home from practice. They see a police car in front of their house. When he entered the house, it turned out that the police come with a child protection service. They are there because they received reports that Rich had exploited his children for forcing his daughter to practice tennis. Hearing the accusation, he feels hurt. He then explains that from the start, he never forced a single thing on his children. If his children want to become lawyers, then he will educate them to become great lawyers. If his children aspire to become a doctor, he will do everything he can to support his children to get a medical scholarship. But he knows the limit. From the very beginning, they themselves aspired to be the best tennis athlete in the world. And his job is just to train, then help them to find a way. He never gets angry when they get bad grades at school, or they are lazy to practice. So far, he has only been a bridge and is responsible for being a father who works hard every day to provide for his family. The presence of the child protection service seems to drop his self-esteem. He is angry because other people don't know anything about his family. Maybe even their own family fall apart, but instead they set foot in his house and interfere in Rich's family affairs. He firmly said that he will be the best father to his daughters. Hearing his explanation, the child protection service then falls silent, feeling ashamed because it has no evidence. They choose to leave. In the next junior championship tournament, when Venus competes, Serena intends to register without Rich's knowledge. While watching Venus match, someone come to greet her and then said that she is amazed to see her daughter, Serena's tennis match, on another court. Hearing these words, Rich and Orison immediately go to Serena's place. There, they feel very proud, because Serena can prove, even if she's just practices alone, but she still means it. Seeing that her parents are watching, she thinks that she will definitely be scolded for registering without their permission. However, Rich actually encourages her and tell her to continue the match. With a happy feeling, she can finally feel what Venus was feeling. That is competing while listening to the support of her family. After the match end, Venus win the first place while Serena win the second place. News of the two girls' victory spread throughout America. They are even invited to be speakers in schools to be an inspiration for young people. In order to avoid the dangers of drugs and take advantage of youth with positive activities. A few days later, Cohen come to Rich's house. There, he informed that Venus managed to achieve a record winning matches with a score of 63 to 0. And Venus was ranked number one as a tennis player aged 3 to 12 years. However, when Cohen wants to register Venus to the next junior tournament, Rich refuses. He feels that Venus experience of competing at the junior level is sufficient enough. Now, Venus must return to focus on her education first. He also said that Venus will no longer compete in the junior tournament. He wants Venus to train and prepare for professional level matches. Although the tournament is still a few years away, this means that in the next few years, Venus will never participate in a tournament at all. His decision makes Cohen feels disappointed. Without saying a word, he leaves from there. After Cohen leave, Rich been looking for another technical academy that doesn't just train Venus to play tennis, but also want to provide a school scholarship for his daughters. He contacts many academies. There is a famous tennis coach named Rick. He is intrigued by the greatness of Rich's two children. The next day, Rick comes from Florida just to know Venus and Serena's greatness in tennis. While testing them both, Rick is impressed. He is like finding two treasures. Then he offers them a contract, so they can enter his tennis academy in Florida. Under the contract, he will cover all of the Rich family's needs in Florida such as a private home, good food, a comfortable place to practice. He even gives him a job. Hearing the offer, Rich agreed. But if Rick is willing to fulfill his condition too, that is, how good Venus and Serena are at the tennis academy, the two of them may only compete or enter tournaments if they seem ready. If he assumes that they aren't ready, then the two of them won't have a match. At first Rick is surprised to hear Rich's words. Even though he really wanted to take them both in many matches, he felt sad if their talent so far only for practice. No competition at all. After they had a long discussion, Rick, who has already fallen in love with their talents, chooses to agree with Rich's conditions. The next day, he and his family left for Florida. After three years, Venus and Serena have never competed in a tournament. Every day, for three years, they just focus on tennis practice as usual. But the problem is no matter how hard they practice, don't know what Rich was thinking, According to him the two of them were still not ready to compete. While they are practicing, Venus tells Rick that she wants to compete in the big junior tournament, which will soon be held in the city of Oakland. Rick initially refuses, because he knew that Rich would not allow it. But because Venus really wanted to join the match, he was forced to promise Venus that he would persuade Rich. In the afternoon, he asked Rich to allow Venus to compete in the big junior tournament, to have a new experience, like another talented young tennis player named Jennifer, hearing Rick's words, even though it was hard for Rich. But finally, he decided to agree. However, when he was eating in the canteen, accidentally, he watches the news about Jennifer's arrest for drug use. The next day, Rick is confused as to why Venus didn't come to practice. Then he got information that this morning, Rich suddenly cancelled his two daughters' practice. Then they went to Disneyland. Knowing that, Rick rushes to Rich's house. When he got there, he saw that they had just arrived home. Annoyed, 
Rick asked, why should their practice be cancelled? The tournament schedule is getting closer. Rich there told him that he had cancelled the Venus tournament schedule. He felt that Venus's experience of competing at the junior level was enough. Now Venus just needs to focus on studying at school, and practice tennis as usual, so that she is not depressed because being too busy. Like Jennifer who fell into drugs. Hearing those words, Rick felt very disappointed. If Rich always forbids Venus to compete, it's not good for Venus' career. On the other hand, Rick couldn't do anything. After all, Rich is Venus' father. Then he left from there. Meanwhile, from a distance, Venus, who was listening to their conversation, was angry. Why does her father always forbid her wishes? Inside the house, Orison invented all her emotions. She was fed up with Rich's decision, because he never discussed with her first, or even just asked Venus. She reminded that the family is a team that requires teamwork. She also reminded that Rich remained selfish like this. Then someday, Venus will definitely leave him. Orison's words finally brought Rich to his senses. He's been overprotective all this time. He then met Venus who was practicing alone. There, he tells the reason why he is being protective with all his children. It was because he didn't want Venus to have the same fate as him. When he was a child, he was beaten by a group of white people on the side of the road. And when he screamed for his father's help, his father ran away in fear and left him alone. From that incident, he vowed to be a better parent to all his children. But now he realized that he had gone too far. The trauma of the past actually made Venus tormented. While hugging Venus, who he loves so much, he said that he would fully support Venus' decision to compete in the junior tournament. A few days later there is a news about Venus, a young talent ranked one in age 12, who has been missing all this time. Then it went viral across America. At night, a message from a famous sports brand, named Fila, visit their house. They came there to offer Venus a contract worth $3 million. Hearing the big offer, instead of immediately agreeing, but Rich actually told Venus to answer it herself. He has changed. Now he realizes what he needs to do as a father is only to support, not forcing. All eyes then turned to Venus. This was the first time she had taken such an important decision in her life. After thinking it over carefully, she replied that she turned down the 42 billion offers. She found out that this Fila brand signed her just because she was famous, not because of her ability in playing tennis. How could she be offered such a big contract? Yet during these three years, she had never competed at all. Rick then scolds Venus, because she had wasted a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Rick is afraid that a brand as big as Fila will be rejected. Then later there will be no other brands willing to offer cooperation contracts again. But Venus's decision was solid. She only wanted to be signed after people saw how great she was at playing tennis. She even promised in the tournament later. Even though she has to fight a young tennis player who is now ranked number one in the world though, she will definitely win. After hearing Venus' decision, Rick couldn't help but be silent. The long-awaited tournament day has arrived. In the first match, Venus looks still stiff due to nervousness. Because she hasn't been in an official match for a long time. Her name is famous on TV. But because she never participated in any championship. So, the ranking has dropped drastically. Against the top tennis player, she made mistakes several times and lost a lot of points. She thought that if she lost, then her father would be disappointed. However, Rich instead told her to have fun on the field, enjoying the match she had been dreaming of for a long time. That one sentence from Rich, then it made her feel excited again. In the end, she won the match, and she will go to the final round. Everyone was impressed by her appearance. In the midst of her excitement, Rick announces that he got a call from the Fila brand offering $4 million. Venus's name is now becoming more and more famous. Because tomorrow, she will be competing against a young world-ranked tennis athlete, named Vicario. Rick asked Rich to accept the contract right now. He was afraid that tomorrow, Venus would lose to Vicario. Then, the offer will be cancelled. Rick hoped that this second chance would not be wasted. But Rich refused. He believed that his daughter could beat Vicario. When Rich wants to get out of the stadium, he saw Serena was seeing the field where her sister had been competing. He knew that Serena was jealous of Venus' success. He tells Serena that there will be differences between her and Venus in the next few years. He is confident that Venus will become the number one tennis athlete in the world. While Serena can certainly be a great tennis athlete of all time. Now, all she had to do was focus on practicing. Hearing her father's words, Serena felt excited again. The next day, the final match began. There, Venus fought Vicario for the first time in her life. He was warmly welcomed by the audience, when entering the field. Then, when all ready, the battle is begin.
Her attack made Vicario lose. The greatest young athlete in the world lost. Even a few points left and Venus would win. And her name could become more and more famous. However, in the middle of the game, Vicario suddenly asked the referee to pause because he wanted to go to the toilet. After 20 minutes of waiting, she hasn't come back. The whole audience was confused. Except for Rich and Rick. They both knew that this was Vicario's trick. She knew that Venus must be nervous because she hadn't competed in years. Therefore, she purposely went to the toilet and left Venus alone. On the field, in the midst of thousands of eyes watching her, the roar of the audience began to be heard. They whispered to each other asking when Vicario would be back. And these voices made Venus nervous. It distracted her mental. A few minutes later, Vicario is finally back. After that, the match continued. Venus lost, no matter how good she plays tennis, and no matter how hard she practiced. If she is nervous, then the game must be messed up. In the dressing room, she kept crying over her defeat, seeing the beloved daughter feel sad. Rich and Orison tried to cheer her up, they said that even though she lost, she still made them both proud. Earlier, the whole world had witnessed how she managed to frighten the first-ranking young tennis player. Hearing the support of her parents, she could slowly try to accept the defeat. When the family is coming home, they were surprised to see that there were so many people outside welcoming Venus. Turns out they were all her fans. How happy Venus is. Even if she fails, the results will never betray the effort. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Later.